Hi there and welcome to day 22 of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. Today we're going to be talking about standing up to injustice and we want to pray that our children would reflect God's justice to others. And this doesn't mean that they would be um, angry. It doesn't mean that, that we want them to be looking for a fight to pick, but it means that they would not shy away from seeking justice. Isaiah 117 just totally sums this up. Learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. We want them to be advocates for those who are the least of these, just like Jesus was, just like God himself is. Um, we want them to reflect the justice of God, tempered with the love that only God can give. And that was our, our first day of this last section. We were talking about having a love for others. Sometimes love isn't easy. You can love someone well by correcting them. It says correct oppression. Um, to truly love someone is sometimes to, to bring correction to an injustice both loving the one to whom injustice is being shown and also to love the one that is bringing the injustice. We're called to love both of those kinds of people. And that love doesn't have to be a, a, a marshmallow kind of love. It could be a strong, godly justice kind of love. So standing up to injustice is just an, out, an outpouring or, or kind of another facet really of, of showing love to others. So today let's pray that our children would just tear the walls down and, and allow themselves to be brokenhearted for the things that break God's heart and to see people through God's eyes and to be advocates and, and just warriors for God's kingdom and for his justice. Father, we acknowledge that sometimes there is so much injustice in this world and even just around us that I think our hearts get callous so that we can protect ourselves from feeling all the pain. We confess that we sometimes put up walls. We, we allow our hearts to be calloused and hardened because it seems like too much. But God, nothing is too much for you. And we just pray now that you would open us up to see the injustice in the world, in the people around us, in the, in the news stories that we hear or read, and that we would not have any problem correcting that oppression, standing up for those that are um, small and powerless, that we would want to bring justice to the fatherless and plead the widow's cause on your behalf and for your glory, God. We pray the same for our children. Allow them to let you in. Allow them to see the world through God glasses so they can see the things and be broken for the things that break your heart. But we pray, God, that it would not be so heavy and so burdensome that they would themselves spiral into depression or despair. We pray that you would protect them at their core, that you would call them to be justice seekers and to stand up to injustice and equip them with that hope instead of despair, because we have so much hope in our victor, Jesus Christ. And God, we know that some of the justice that will be seen will not be seen until the second coming until the judgment. But as far as we can do in our sphere of influence and in our power, God, and for the same for our children, Lord, as, as far as they can um, take action in whatever ways that they can, we pray that you would empower them to do that, that you would give them the, the desire to stand up for injustice and the power to do what they can in this world. In Jesus' name, amen.